yeah, that happened. Stay to the end to find out how we dealt with it. But before any of that, roll intro. Bon matin. Ma poule, mon poule. Go on. Apparently, according to Elizabeth, one of the subscribers, you should be happy with your lot. I don't disagree. What do you want? You want to bite my finger again, don't you? <laughs> Morning. Uh, oh, dreary, isn't it? It's raining, wearing a big coat. Um, should have to wear it. Apparently, we're having freak weather in Europe um, at this time of year. Apparently, December and January should be the rainy months. Don't know why it's happening in February. Hey, thanks for all the research you did yesterday in relation to why horses stamp. Apparently, it's either to do with flies, no flies yet, uh, or they want attention. Yeah. Uni wants attention. I'll tell you what, we don't have get some flies in the summer. We came here uh, in September. And uh, oh, relentless today. I'm going to show you how we make our Sunday dinner, Sunday roast. We're having pork, um, and uh, I'm going to do my specialty roast potatoes. Not everyone's going to like them, my family does. Um, my dad wants to give my roast potatoes a nine out of ten. I said, Dad. Yes, yeah, so where did I lose the point? He said, what could I have done to have got me a 10 out of 10? You know what he said? Give me more, give me more roast potatoes. <laughs> so I did. I'm no cook. Uh, overcooked the vegetables. Uh, not purpose, to be honest with you. Uh, because I don't like crunchy veg. Uh, so they have little or no nutritional value. Uh, that's fine. And uh, yeah, the reason why I started making roast potatoes is because before I met Lisa, when I was living in a pokey little two bedroom flat, not had a Sunday dinner for ages. So I googled it and uh, and this is the recipe. Right, I'm going to go back into the chicken shed. It's too wet. I've no idea you know what the light is like in here. Oh and apologies, I'm using the GoPro. So lovely wide angle shot. Audio is shockingly rubbish though. So apologies about that. Anyway, roast potatoes. We use Marish Pipers. Marish Pipers are the best, uh, in my opinion. Um, we do peel them, off, um, parboil them for five minutes. That's not part boil, by the way. Parboil for five minutes. Drain them, rinse them off, fluff them up. It's important to get the edges done. Heat up the oil. People say you use goose fat um, and uh, duck fat and stuff like that. I, I find just normal the vegetable oil or sunflower oil it, it still does a decent job um, oh sorry before that once they're all fluffed up get an oxo cube and sprinkle the oxo uh, over over all, all, all the potatoes that makes them nice and brown and crispy uh, you can use marmite we've used marmite before it didn't really work um, make sure that the oil is piping hot in the oven place them in about 200 degrees uh, 220 um, turn them every 15 minutes for at least an hour so the desired effect we want is fluffy in the middle and amazingly crunchy on the outside not like the school dinners roasties or like a Toby Carvery roasty we want them nice and crunchy I've got an update on Sean bless him um, he's been to the physiotherapist his shoulder's knackered he can't do anything for, for between six and eight weeks um, so but like a true hero He's, he's managed to get backup, urgent assistance. So he's got a friend of his, um, Marlon, I think his name is, who's um, a plasterer by trade, uh, and he's going to finish off the tape and join it. And Sean's going to be doing other stuff, starting in Robbie's room, I think, it's, I think it's the electrics. So that's really good. Uh, speedy recovery to Sean. Thanks for all the, all the comments yesterday. Uh, people actually watched to the end. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, the subscribers are slowly. Uh, growing um getting rid of the i'm not getting rid of them yeah yeah they're getting rid of themselves the, the old 
legacy ones that I've clicked on because I don't know, yeah, they saw me uh, film somebody do something to the attic. Um, still going, but so yesterday's video lost three straight away within 10 minutes, but gained three, so that's good. Uh, and yeah, so to all the new ones, uh, we are a family of uh, four, family of nine overall, uh, but the rest of the kids are, are growing up in, in UK in universities and jobs and stuff like that. Uh, so we've got the two youngest and we live out in France. Uh, I'm Rob, Robbie, uh, Lisa, my wife, and uh, the two kids, Robbie Jr. and um, and Evangeline or Angel. Right, so my name comes from my dad, his name comes from his dad, and so, and Robbie is called after me. So um, he's like the fourth Robbie in our family. Oh, and we're going to appear on a place in the sun later this year. <laughs> Apparently, you hatch chicks, you don't grow them. <laughs> Thanks for that. On French facts for you today. Here's the first one vinegar. Word comes from. Uh, Two words in French, vin, wine, and aigre, which is sour. So, um, sour wine is vinegar. I'll give you another one, um, and then I'll I will trot them in over the course of the, the over the course of the day. Right, 2016, um, France introduced a law uh, to make it illegal to throw away or burn perfectly edible food, um, and so. The supermarkets have to seriously reduce the price of the food on the day that it's going to go out of date. Um, so we got a massive bit of pork for our Sunday roast. It uh, cost five euro. Pork actually is uh, the cheapest meat I find in France. Beef, sausages, sausages, so expensive. Uh, beef burgers, so expensive. Uh, steaks, really expensive. Um, same as uh, lamb. Yeah, pork. And we like pork. It's nice. Right, do you know what I mean when I say the word ick? to give you the ick. Now, the kids, our kids, don't like it when I use that word because they think it's the word of the youth. Now, we've been using ick in the UK for years and years and years. And uh, so what it basically means is, um, the best way to describe it is, if you meet somebody for the first time and, uh, and you start to like them, and then for some reason they do something, I don't know, whether they burp a cheese and onion flavored burp at you, you can smell it. <laughs> that happened to me once. Um, and uh, for that one thing, you just suddenly go off them. That's giving you the ick. <laughs> the reason why I mention it is because Elisha and I were watching a video the other day on YouTube and somebody put in a paid promotion. And they said, right, that's giving me the ick. Not watching that anymore. Now, not forgetting the fact that um, I did a video where I was given uh, I was given by an American company a um, spirit laser lamp, uh, and that was a paper motion. Got the worst views ever. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I don't know. Nobody's banging on my door to uh, to offer uh, yeah, to offer pay promotion or anything like that. So uh, I don't think I'm going to give Lisa the ick. Anyway, not not in that respect. Anyway, should we check for eggs? Right. Let's do it live time. Oh, sorry. Yeah, somebody gave me an amazing comment um, last week, I think it was. Uh, for, the, for the life of me, I can't remember being able but uh, apologies for that, but um, it was really appreciated. And it was um, to bring in an egg box to the chicken shed so we don't have to carry like six eggs uh, in each hand. So, uh, right.
Alexa, set time for five minutes. Well, I've got a little tip for you to do with the Oxo cubes. I only learned about it within the past year. Right, I'll show you. Yes, yeah, so there's the Oxo cube. Obviously, it comes in a square. Now, uh, if you fold the sides out, I have to speed this up a little bit. Oh, probably wrong one. If you squish it, be careful not to uh, tear the bag. And look, it's now a little sachet that you can use on the life's hacks. I know it's easier to get along peacefully, but have you ever thought about you? Don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do. When the walls are made up by someone we never knew, baby, why did your tears and hear me out? We don't need some. Right, fun French fact. Right, 2,000, no, 25,000 tons of snail are eaten by the French each year. Nailed it. 
I think I've definitely got up a dress size. Uh, I didn't film us eating it for the plain reason. Well, have you ever seen a dog? <laughs> have you ever seen the dog eat the stuff out of a calliter? I'll quickly eat it before it gets caught. Right. Wasn't pleasant. That's um, that's how I that's how I ate my Sunday lunch. Um, anyway, right. The hens have seen me. Oh no. Right. Got, no, got an issue going on. Right, I've called for backup. She's on route. See the issue, it's snapped here. Oh. oh no. Hi. I'm not filming Lisa coming out. I'd probably have to use the bleeping button a lot. Oh. Right, so we're in the process of salvaging uh, whatever crop we've got left. But yeah, the uh, greenhouse is knackered. Uh, for non speaking. English people uh, broke in it. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm laughing is the worst problems in this world, aren't they? Uh, if all we've got to worry about is a greenhouse that's blown down in a 50 mile an hour wind, and uh, I'm happy with that. At least not yet. I think she is. Just saw a smile. I won't show you. <laughs> so what we got? Yeah. I'm coming today because it's. Uh, I, th I think the audio is going to be a bit better uh, than outside. Anyway, I've mentioned before that Leisha and I came off social media completely in 2020. So uh, we had to think, uh, think long and hard about coming onto YouTube because that's obviously a. Uh, social media platform, opening ourselves up to uh, the world, looking, judging, critiquing, micro inspecting parts of our lives and stuff like that, which is why we came off uh, uh, the Facebooks and the Instagrams and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I, I've just been amazed, we've been amazed with the with the kindness and the, and the generosity of uh, of the people that watch our videos and, uh, and comments and, uh, and a few people, your yeah, Graham and Vanessa, uh, to you particularly, have reached out to us privately on our email, giving us advice and pointers in, in terms of our French visa application, card to Sejour, uh, the French social security number. So yeah, it's um, yeah, absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Got some more quotes of the day. I always need to pop my readers on. Okay, that's out of the way. It's like a Tourette's tick, it really is. Right, um, let's find it. It's not a quote of the day, it's a fun French fact, isn't it? Sorry, right. <laughs> I like this one. In 1910, French law forbade it for people to kiss in train stations. Do you know why? It's because people were spending longer on the platform kissing, um, waving goodbye to the long, to the loved ones, which caused delays. So, in, in order to, to speed up the economy, made it against the law to kiss. We're in a train station. Who'd have thought? So, if you got this far, well done, sincerely. Um, yeah, I appreciate you watching. I really do. Anyway, if you like these videos and you've got this far. Um, Please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Cost bugger all. Or is there something to say bagger all? <laughs> um, hit the notification bell. That's really important. Not many of you do. Uh, and it leaves one last thing left to say. Not from me. It's definitely not from her. It's not from the dinosaurs. And it's not from Arnold Schwarzenegger.